Hello and welcome back to Career Mudra. My name is Dr. Pratiksha Gupta and I'm an MBS counseling expert here at Career Mudra. So welcome to the second part of the video where we'll be talking about the fee structure and the types of colleges that are there in Maharashtra, what are the total number of colleges, how many seats do they have. So in this part of the video, I'm giving you a brief idea about the fee structure and the dental colleges that are there in Maharashtra and I'll be guiding you through the seat matrix like what types of seats are there. So let's begin the video. So there are all total 38 dental colleges in Maharashtra which is a very huge number. If you see all over India the maximum amount of dental colleges can be seen in Maharashtra and then you can see Karnataka. So what are the types of dental colleges there, uh, that are there in Maharashtra? So Maharashtra is such a state where you can see state private dental colleges, government dental colleges deemed to be universities. So let's see what is the division. So there are all total five government dental colleges. One is uh, Government Dental College Mumbai. Second is the Government Dental College Nagpur. Third is Government Dental College Aurangabad. Then on fourth we have Naya Dental College which is in Mumbai. And on fifth we have AFMC. Moving forward if we see that what are the different uh, deemed to be universities in Maharashtra. We have three campuses of Bharati Vidya Peet. One is in Pune, second one is in Sangli, and third one is in Naval Mumbai. Then we have two campuses of Dr. D.Y. Patil in Pune itself. We have one more deemed to be college, that is Sharad Pawar Dental College, which is uh, situated in uh, Vardha. Then we have uh, Rural Dental College Loni, which is situated in Loni. So as you can see, there are all total, uh, we can say, seven deemed to be universities. After that, if we see, there is one minority college, which is Dr. M.A. Rangunwala Dental College, which is present in Pune. So, keeping everything in mind, we are left with 25 state private dental colleges, which are spread across different cities in Maharashtra. So, that sums up the total of 30 dental colleges, which are present in Maharashtra. Here on the screen, you will see the list of the colleges, that whatever I have told you, that these are the government dental colleges, these are the private ones, these are the deemed to university, and one minority dental college. Talking about the fee structure, so what are the types of seats that are there in Maharashtra? As I told you previously on the video, that there are three types of seats that are present in Maharashtra. One is state seat, which is the state quota seat. The other one is institutional quota seat and the third one is NRI seats. So what are the state seats? If you are somebody who has studied their videos from Maharashtra and are a domicile of Maharashtra, they are eligible for these state seats. These state seats have a very low fee structure in private dental colleges as compared to their own private fees. So, if you are targeting for such seats, you should have a good rank in your NEET MDS. The fee structure for these state seats are approximately 5 to 7 lakhs depending upon the different types of colleges spread across. Talking about the institutional quota and the NRI quota. So every year the Maharashtra government publishes an ad hoc fees which means it can be 5 lakhs or 6 lakh rupees which becomes your state quota fees. After that there is a capping. Like if you want to uh, take a seat in institutional quota, the fees will be 4 times of the ad hoc seat, uh, fees. It cannot go beyond that. So suppose let's take an example that if the ad hoc fees for this year is 5 lakh rupees, that means the institutional quota fees will be 20 lakh rupees and not more than that. The highest that can be paid is 20 lakh rupees. And the same is for NRI quota also. It is 5 times of the ad hoc fees, which means that the maximum that will be taken is 25 lakh rupees. So now if you talk about the state private dental colleges, every department has different kind of fee structure in different types of colleges. And it starts from 10 lakh rupees and goes up to 20 lakh rupees. Talking about the NRI fee structure, it is a bit high as compared to the institutional quota fees. It starts from approximately, you can say, 20 lakh rupees per annum. It goes up to 25 lakh rupees per annum. For the deemed universities, the fees is finalized by the NCC. And when you are doing the choice filling and when you are doing the counseling, you can definitely see the fees there also. So this is all about the fee structure of the Maharashtra colleges. Now, what are the counseling that you have to appear if you want to take admission in these colleges? All the government seats and the state private seats and the minority colleges, they all come under your state counseling, which is mahacet.org. If you want admission in those seven deemed to be universities, then you have to go to the uh, NCC All India Counseling. 
because none of the seats are intermingled. You won't get any state private seats in the MCC and you won't get any deemed to be college seats in your Maharashtra counselling. So uh, I hope you got a brief idea about the distribution of the colleges and the uh, seat criteria. In the third part of the video, I'll tell you about the fee structure of the deemed to be colleges in Maharashtra along with the stipend that they offer. And one last note, if you are looking for stipend in Maharashtra, then it's better to go for the deemed to be universities because apart from that, you won't get any stipend in any state private college or minority college. Yes, government uh, colleges are going to offer you the stipend, but after that, it's going to be the deemed to be universities only. I hope this video was informative for you. For more such information, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel that is Karen Mudra. I'll keep on bringing such updates and if you want one-on-one -on -one counseling with me, you can definitely contact me on the number displaying on the screen right now. Thank you.